Welcome back to The Product Designer. Jimmy here. Today I got something special for you guys. I'm going to be doing a crazy Photoshop demo where I turn a very plain key shot, you know, super simple rendering into something that's kick-ass, time 10 better, ready to present. You're going to be super excited. Something like this into like this. BAM! Something like this into like this. So this is the example we're going to be working on today. So definitely get your notebooks out and let's get onto the computer. Quah! All right, guys, so I have the rendering here. So the first thing I do is I drop it into my like custom document size 11 by 17, 300 DPI. Kind of like allows me to pretty much just make sure that I have the final rendering in high resolution because most people like they start rendering just right on the rendering and it could be low res. So right here, as you guys can see, I masked this section off and then I just made a, a, a just a black shape of this uh, part of the driver. And what I do is I pretty much add layers above that. And what I do is I right click on those layers and I add them to clipping, create clipping mask. And this allows me to uh, pretty much shade in those zones um, where only that black mask that I made is originally. So that's pretty much like a huge technique I do. So as you guys can see, I do it the same thing here. So I'll create this shape using the pen tool. And this is just like a parting line shape that I want to add an ex extra aesthetic. It doesn't really do anything but just make it kind of look cooler. You know what I'm guys what I'm saying? Stuff like that allows you to just make stuff look cooler at the end. It kind of makes it look like it does something or is actually manufacturable. But here, as you guys can see, I make this parting line um, just an extra aesthetic feature. But you guys can see that original shape that I drew, that black, just heavy shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the same thing, make new layers and create clipping mask and um, just just allow it allow me to shade in those zones, in those sections. When I'm doing those parting lines, so you guys see those black strokes, what I do is I will make that stroke and I'll make it black. And then what I do is I'll duplicate that layer and then on the under layer, I'll change it to white and then I'll kind of offset it a little bit using the arrow keys. And what it does is it kind of allows the white to peek out from under the black and just kind of make it give it illusion that it's a little bit more like um, an edge that's turning inwards. Um, so here I go, same thing. I'll mask this uh, sole plate off, paint it black so that I can, you know, continue adding shade on top of it. I'll create a little bit inner edge here. So what I do is I just duplicate the layer, offset a little bit, change the under layer to white. Same thing as always. Grab my handy dandy carbon fiber because I didn't like the one that the uh, rendering came with. I didn't render it myself. It was somebody from Wilson, um, Antonio. Mom, shout out to Antonio. Um, so here I go, just uh, adding shade onto the plate and onto the carbon fiber plate. And you guys can see I took a copy of the original rendering uh, weight that you guys can see that little ellipse down at the bottom right there. I'm, I'm going to use that for later because I wanted to move that weight from more towards the front faceplate and move it towards the back. So that goes to show the power of Photoshop. You guys can see you guys can just change the image to exactly how you want it to be. You just got to make sure it looks right because it, Photoshop... It's very powerful, but you know, things can get start getting wonky really fast. So you guys gotta make sure that you do it the right way, make sure the perspective is right is right and stuff like that. So here I go just rounding off the shape of that, just because I didn't like how it kind of just like eh, made that kind of curve, that sharp turn. So I rounded it off just a bit just to make it sleeker. I want to really emphasize this part of the driver. So what I did was I masked it off and created a white stroke around it, really thin faded it in just to make sure that you know it looks natural and this will allow the viewer to kind of draw his or her eye to this section that I want them to look at. Here I go kind of adding a little bit more shading a little bit more highlights into the into that undercut section. This is going to be a very big kind of visual feature of this rendering of this driver uh, angle. So here I go just adding in the um, shaft because the rendering didn't come with the shaft. I'm trying to visualize where it enters into the club head and then kind of set the angle to that, make sure that add a little bit of highlight to make it look real. And then here I go, just adding a little bit of red to it, a little bit of dark red maroon, just to give it a little color, you know what I'm saying? Make it look a little bit nice. Um, here I go, cutting that away to, to review the screw that's underneath that layer that I covered up. There I go, adding in the weight back in again, and just kind of changing the perspective using Control T. The transform and allow you to kind of manipulate and change the the perspective and angles of it there's also the warp that that if you're in control t you there's a warp that's at the top i use that all the time you're going to see me use it in a bit 
um, with the logo. So here I go, just kind of kind of adding a little bit of you know shading, touch ups, stuff like that, making sure that the shaft looks dark and nice. Just taking an overview. I, I do a lot of things based off of feeling. I'll look at it and to be like, it needs a little bit of this and it needs a little bit of that. So here I go, just emphasizing kind of like that that cut at the top there by adding a little bit of um, highlight to it. And I think that I kind of want to make that plate, that extra plate that I added a little bit more like a different material. So I changed it up a little bit, adding a little bit of extra shadow to really make sure that the viewer sees that this is an undercut and a turn. Really wanted to emphasize that. So what I do here too is I also make contour. What you really want to do with these renderings is really show off the form of, you know, of of your driver in 3D. That's what really what makes these renderings pop. That's what makes viewers completely immediately understand them. So this is what I do here while while I add in these contour lines, and it really kind of just follows the form of the uh, driver to really just still again just redundancy showing off the form of the driver just to make sure that the viewer can immediately understand it you know that's what that's what i really like when i look at um renderings is really if i can understand the form and uh, really good people that render you know it, they're, they're good at showing that off with uh, lighting with with shading and stuff like that and it can things can really get wonky in photoshop if you're not careful um, so here I go, just doing a little bit more finishing touches, you know, focusing on that curve, that little dark spot right there. And here I go with adding graphics. So I'll flip it around, kind of, this is where I change it using the uh, control T and then there's warp. If you look at the top right, it's a little, it's a little like kind of arky kind of shape and you just click that. And I moved it under some of the shading layers so it blends in real nice as you guys can see. Uh, well, another trick I do with some of the shading is I'll go into filter, uh, noise, and then add noise. And then I'll add noise onto that shading layer, onto, onto that black shading layer that I did. And essentially what that does is it kind of adds a little bit of grain into the shading. And it makes it look less, you know, computery, less fake, less, less digital. And that's what I essentially do there. Well, that's about it, guys. See, we turn a simple rendering like this where there's not much going on. It's very boring. It's very plain, just straight out of the rendering program. And we made it look like something like this, just completely beautiful with graphics, with parting lines, with highlights, uh, contour lines, just a lot of things going on that makes the, 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 the rendering, the overall image just pop and and it makes it look extra, extra beautiful, like as if a camera took it. All right, guys. Well, hope you learned a thing or two. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, definitely hit that thumbs up button. And also leave me down in the comments below that you're saying that you loved it, that you want to see more. Um, if you want to be a super awesome kick-ass industrial designer, then definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out all my past videos and learn a thing or two. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.